I was gonna do like a cool transition thing, but then my classmate and BFF flight attendant got to the crew room and she brought me a donut. So I got distracted. Good morning. I just woke up. It's about 8 a.m. here in Honolulu, so around 1 p.m. in Denver time. I just checked to see if I got my personal drop, and I didn't. So that means that I need to get my stuff ready today because tonight at 7.45 p.m. Honolulu time, I have to do a red eye to get to Denver for my trip tomorrow. I am not looking forward to this commute, but it's better than my last commute because I ended up getting into Denver at 6.30 a.m. and then had a 9 a.m. check-in. So it was like boom, boom, different time zone, lots of stuff. I was back galley. I just, it was a mess. Like, it, But this time my check-in is a lot later. I think my check-in is like 4 p.m. or 2 p.m. or something like that. So once I get in at 6.30 a.m., I'm gonna go straight to the crew room. Okay, I lie. I might get something to eat and then go straight to the crew room and go to sleep. This also really stinks because Raul has been on a trip for three days and he's getting back at like 5.45 p.m. and I am boarding at 6.50, so we're just barely gonna miss each other. Hopefully we'll kind of sneak a kiss at the airport, but yeah, it'll be almost a week without seeing each other. Kind of the downsides of not being based in the same base and not having the same schedules. So it is noon. And I have a lot to do before my flight. I need to pack. I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat because I cannot eat the plain food anymore. Like the smell of the oven is just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't even put my food in the oven on the plane because that smell, it like seeps into like everything and it tastes like the smell of the oven. It's just, I can't, I can't do it. So I also need to go on a walk or a run, whatever. I need to get some exercise in because I'm like hanging on by a thread with me and Raul's competition with our Apple watches. I am <laughs> super competitive. So I'm gonna try to get some exercise in before I am on a plane for eight hours and my stats just like What else do I need to do? Oh, I need to pack my bag. Everything that is in there is from my last trip. So I got all the dirties out and I've washed them, but like most of my pantyhose did not survive that trip. I had three pairs and two of the pairs, whenever I put them on, they already had runs in them. So I need to find some pantyhose. Hopefully I have a reservoir somewhere in here of pantyhose otherwise. I also want to do some dishes and you know, vacuum, that kind of stuff, just so Raul doesn't have to do any of that stuff whenever he gets home and he can just relax. He's on reserve this month in Honolulu, so his life is a little bit more unpredictable and harder than mine. So I just like to make sure everything is done and everything is good for him so he can just come home and just chill until he gets called next. I'm just really proud of this egg here right now. Look at this. What? It looks fake. It's so pretty. Now, is this a wholesome, balanced breakfast? Probably not, I have no idea. But, oh my gosh. It's like how to build a good breakfast for you. How to build a balanced breakfast. Thank you. 
Appreciate that. Let me eat my breakfast, watch a little bit of private practice. I'm like just now starting. I've never watched the show ever in my life. So I started watching Grey's Anatomy like way later than everybody else. Like I just watch all episodes and up to the current of Grey's Anatomy in the past like year. So I was really late to that train, <laughs> but I loved it. So. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll try private practice. It seems like super dated. I'm in season one, but it's getting better. So it has like that telenovela, like the soap opera lighting where everything's kind of like fuzzy and glowy. It's super weird. Something that you would see on like Law and Order. I don't know. I had never watched Law and Order, so it might not be on there, but something that I imagine would be on Law and Order. So let me eat my breakfast and then I am going to show you how I pack for this trip. So first things first, whenever I'm going on a trip and I need to pack, number one, I figure out where I'm even going. <laughs> so on this trip, I have a three day trip but I have a long layover in Philadelphia, 24 hours. So my only layover will be the 24 hours in Philadelphia. I have three legs on the first day, layover for 24 hours, and then I have one leg back to Denver um, on the third day. So the majority of my time is gonna be spent in Philadelphia. So I need to check the weather, what's going on in Philadelphia because as you know, I live in Honolulu, so I have no idea what's going on with the mainland, <laughs> any other part of the world. We're just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere by our lonesome. So let me get the weather app. Do I have the weather lap? What? Oh, there we go. So the weather for Philadelphia is low of 73, high of 91 when I'm gonna be there. Okay, JK, I'll be flying tomorrow, so I'll be there on Sunday, which is 80% chance of thunderstorms. We don't like that. Not on layovers or go home days. <laughs> but the high is 84 and the low is 75. But now that I know that it's gonna be raining, we probably are not gonna go out and do anything. Honestly, I probably wasn't going to anyways. Um, just to scavenge for food. But knowing that it's gonna be raining, I probably will just bring some sandwiches and hope to survive or maybe pick something up from the airport once I land in Philly but usually I don't do that because I'm just in a rush to get to the hotel. Like I just, nobody wants to stop and get food and all that, um, but we'll see. Still trying to finish this green juice. It doesn't taste bad, it's just like having something every single day, like the monotony of it, just ugh. I need like variety. Like when I eat, I want like, I don't eat one thing and then the next thing. I have like a little bite of everything, like a little rotation. My husband, he <laughs> takes a bite of every single thing, finds out his order, what he likes it in the most to the least. He eats the least first and then goes up from there. So he has like the thing that he likes the best, the very end. So it's just like one flavor profile. The second flavor, the second, Oh my God, the second flavor profile, the third, the fourth, you know what I mean? So it's weird to me. Okay, so let's pack. First things first, I wanna make sure that I have all of my uniforms. I go ahead and put the wings on there already just so everything is ready to go. Pack my inflates, my high heels, my sweater. Make sure I have all of my essentials, all of my toiletries. I always make sure that everything is full so I won't be missing anything once I get to my layover. 
I also pack a variety of shirts. Make sure I have a night shirt to sleep in. And a swimsuit, because you never know. I always check to make sure I have all of my vitamins. I also have my migraine medicine and any kind of essential medicine that you might need, like Benadryl, um, an anti-acid, that kind of stuff. I love my fuzzy socks, just in case I get cold when I'm non-revving. And I also have my hot water bottle and it's so cozy and comfy. I always make sure that I have this collapsible water bottle while I'm non-revving just so I always have water. And that's pretty much it for packing. So when I first started, we got these like semi-hard cases to put all of our duty items in. Um, I don't do that anymore, but I have found a very great use for it. I keep all of my snacks in this little hard case that way like they don't get smushed and destroyed. Like I have little croissants or crackers, little cookie sticks, and I'll put my sandwiches in there and they'll stay good. Perfect for traveling. I need to find like a good tote bag slash lunch kit but I want it to be like half and half like I need tote space but I also need lunch space I don't want to put cold items with like a cold pack that can sweat all over tote item stuff you know what I mean so I'm trying to find like the perfect tote bag but I'm convinced it doesn't exist so it just made it to the airport I was able to see Raul about 30 to 45 minutes before I left, so it was nice to see him. And now I am at the airport. I'm ready to go on my flight. And I made it to Denver. First things first, food. Made it to Denver. So tired. I'm gonna take a nap and then get ready for my check-in a little bit later. I was gonna do like a cool transition thing, but then my classmate and BFF flight attendant got to the crew room and she brought me a donut. So I got distracted. Getting catered. I am on my first flight of the day. It's Denver to Orange County and I'm coming right back. And then we are going to Philadelphia. So it should be a long day, but I was able to get a couple of hours of sleep in on, off and on because someone was snoring in the crew room. So I think that's gonna push me through and be okay today. And tonight I'll just take some melatonin. and hopefully be good for tomorrow. Uh, I just had a rough flight. People can be so mean. Like, they just want to argue about something. Like, they don't even care what it is. Like, they just want to yell at you. Like, having one of those days. Hopefully the next crowd will be better. This is definitely a downfall to being a flight attendant. It's just like, some things are just out of your control. You know, you can do everything. You can be nice. You can be patient. You can be kind.
So I left Honolulu at 7.45 p.m. yesterday. Got to Denver at 6.30. Well, I guess that was the day before. I don't even know. So I got to Denver at 6.30. Then I had my flight. And worked pretty much all day until into the next day since it's 5 30 a.m i watched the sunrise two times <laughs> without sleeping and then worked a 12 hour and 43 minute day it was a doozy but i am here in philly oh, finally and I have a 25-ish hour layover. So pretty much the whole time I'm just gonna be sleeping. Here is my lovely view of Philly from my hotel room. This hotel is really awesome because they have free food options for us and there's free breakfast, but it doesn't start until like 7.30 a.m. I will stay awake for this free breakfast. This bed is the enemy. I am not kidding when I say I'm running off fumes right now, but I managed to stay awake. So I managed to stay awake until breakfast. So it's like 7.14 right now, breakfast starts at 7.30, so I'm gonna make my way down there and hopefully get some Breakfast was so good. So good. And now I'm so sleepy. I do think it was the right decision to wait to go to sleep after having breakfast. I think that like I'll be like good to sleep for like the rest of my life now. <laughs> no, hopefully I'll wake up in a couple of hours. Maybe I'll go for a walk or something. Um, we're in downtown Philly, so there's kind of a lot of stuff nearby that we can go see and do. So I'll probably spend some time outside. Hopefully it's not gonna be thunderstorming because the forecast for today is not the greatest. It said thunderstorms and it's hot. So we'll just cross our fingers that we can go out today um, and then come back and go back to sleep. I like the sound of that. So, I just woke up. <laughs> I had an alarm set for 1 p.m. It woke me up and I was like, no. I had another alarm set for 3.15. I woke up and was like, no. And then, I was like, I'll just wake up naturally. Whatever time my body needs to wake up, that's when I'll wake up. So I woke up at 7 p.m. here in Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, and I just set my alarm for the morning. My van time is at 5.51 a.m. Then my alarm said that I needed to go to sleep in two hours to get a full eight hours of sleep. I ain't mad about that. <laughs> I probably could sleep some more. I'm that tired. I was gonna like get up, get some food, but I think I'm just going to eat the muffin that I have, get my stuff ready for tomorrow, and then get back in bed. Read. I'll probably like pop some melatonin or something to go to sleep for the night, and no, I'll be fine. I'd much rather have more sleep than no sleep. Too much sleep for me is not a thing. So we'll see you in the morning. I have one leg tomorrow, super easy. It's from Philadelphia to Denver. So it's about a three hour flight. Um, I land at like 9.15 a.m. in Denver and the flight to Honolulu is at 11:45. So I hope I make it. There's zero seats on the plane right now. 
so I'll probably have to take the jump seat to get back home, but that's fine. I just want to go home. I just looked at my watch and Raul is only 300 points away from me. He's beating me this week for our little competition that we do every week. So I actually think I'm going to do some like power yoga and exercise a little bit so hopefully can get some points and beat him. I know for a fact Raul is not gonna work out today because he's on the big island with all of his friends and they're just hanging out. They were like hanging out all night long. So I know exercising is not in his future today unless he like randomly takes an outdoor walk to like the car. <laughs> um, so hopefully I could pull out a win. If you're a flight attendant or if you stay in hotels all the time, I highly recommend getting a pair of these like slipper socks. They're the best thing. You can throw them in the wash and they have these little stickies on the bottom. So when you're like on the tile in the bathroom, you don't slip, but they're so amazing. I love them. It's that time again. Good night, Philadelphia. There's still only a flight of the day, and then I get to go home. Well, I made it back to Denver, and I'm on my flight to Honolulu, but I have to jump seat, so it's gonna be a long way, seven hours. While service is our passion, safety is our top priority, so please take a minute and pay attention. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is called trash juice. It's disgusting. It's everyone's drink from the plane mixed together, running out of the trash can. I made it back home, and the first stop was... Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna eat and then basically just relax the rest of the day. I cannot do anything else. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, find me on social media. Let's connect.